Today, you will be learning how you can make a jetpack in Roblox Studio. Before we hop in the video, I want to showcase it to you first. So here I am in my game, we got the jetpack right over here. If I step on it, we get a jetpack on our character. If we double jump, just like the jailbreak one by the way, if we double jump, we can fly. So 3, 2, 1, double jump. And as you can see, we are now flying with our little jetpack. We got a fuel bar. And if this fuel bar uh, like runs out of fuel, then we have to wait 20 seconds before we can refuel again. It kind of works like the jailbreak one, uh, but in jailbreak you um, also have to wait for a little bit until you can refuel. So as you can see, we are running out of fuel and boom, we have to wait for 20 seconds before we can refuel again. And when the 20 second cooldown has ended, we can click on refuel and we can fly again. So if you want to know how you can make this jetpack system in Roblox Studio, then make sure that you watch this video all of the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. So newbie, how do we set this system up? It is actually pretty simple. First, go to the description and there will be a link to a uh, Roblox model which you need to get uh, in order to complete this tutorial. So go to the description, click on the link, get the model and head back to Roblox Studio. You've done great, you just got the model, you are one step closer to a working jetpack. Now, you are in Roblox Studio, as you can see I'm moving around, yeehaw, okay. Now, you want to go to view at the top of your screen, right over here, view. Then click on toolbox and you will get this beautiful toolbox full of assets and models, we don't need to look at that. Then, you click on the four blocks over here, inventory. So, three, two, one, click. And you will see all of your models. The one we need is Jetpack Newbie. So click on that, four scripts, just click OK. And now you got the Jetpack model. You're probably wondering that why there's two Jetpacks. You will know very soon. So first of all, the credits. Uh, Creeper Man for the script and me for recoding. So thank you so much, Creeper Man, for this code. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate it. So now you want to put the things in. Uh, so you see, for example, over here, workspace. And inside of workspace over here, there is jetpack spawn. You want to drag this into workspace. And then over here, server storage, drag it in server storage. And server script service, drag it in server script service. Boom. And then just put this away. Now that you've got the model, there are three scripts we're going to have to code. We need the server script, the client script, and uh, the second server script. Uh, the client script is the biggest one, but don't worry, I will guide you through every single thing. Make sure you keep up with the tutorial. If you have any questions, join my Discord server down below. Uh, give me a ping, whatever, I will, I will respond anyway. I'll respond gladly and my team will help you out with your coding issue. So make sure you do that and uh, keep up and enjoy.
So that right there was all of the coding done for this tutorial. You have done absolutely great. Thank you for following the tutorial. Now we've entered the recap section. And newbie, what is that? The recap section, uh, what I call it, the recap section, yes. Uh, it's basically a section in my video where I explain the code. So if you want to learn something from it, watch this. And if you don't want to, just skip the video or go to the testing section, whatever. You will see the chapters at the video bar, whatever. First of all, the server script. We need players and server storage. When the player joins the game, we're going to give them the debounce value, which is a true or false statement. We're going to set its name, we're going to set it to false, and we're going to put it in the player. When you touch the model jetpack, we're going to check if a player touched it. And if a player did touch it, then we're going to check if you are, don't have a jetpack yet. Uh, if you don't, we're going to check if you're on a cooldown. And if you're also not, then we're going to give you a little cooldown so we don't spam our system. We're going to give you a jetpack. We're going to put it on your character. We're going to position it to your character. We're going to put it uh, in your character. And we're going to give you a client script. And then after a second, the cooldown goes away. In the client script, when this uh, script uh, enables itself from the server, then all of this will run. So you're going to get a body force in your player, uh, a lot of variables, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, previous jump is basically in seconds, has jumped, uh, so if you have double jumped or not. We're going to put the UI, which is uh, the jetpack UI, we're going to put it in your player, uh, your player GUI. When you press spacebar, we're going to check if you can, uh, uh, if you press spacebar, we're going to check if you have fuel, and if you do, we're going to check if you're already flying, so if you're mid-air, and you press spacebar, you're going to go up again, of course. And then if that's true, then we're going to set using to true. When you stop holding spacebar, we're just going to set using to false. And when you uh, jump, we're going to check if you are double jumping, because if you double jump, we're going to let you fly. If you have landed, we're going to disable everything on the jetpack until you double jump again. And if you're uh, if you are jumping and you ju uh, and you press spacebar again, so you're kind of like double jumping, then we're going to um, set the previous jump to uh, another second value tick so that we can use that to determine when you are uh, within 0.2 seconds of double jumping. When you press the refuel button after your fuel runs out, we're going to check if you if your cooldown. So because um, if uh, how the system works, if you run out of fuel, there will be a 20 second cooldown before you can refuel again. So we're going to check if, if that cooldown is zero. And if that's the case, then we're going to give you max fuel. We're resetting the cooldown and we're going to make the refuel button disappear. Uh, the game will always check if you are using and flying. If one of those is disabled or false, this uh, is not running. Um, if you're using it and you're flying, we're going to check if you have enough fuel. And if you have, we're just going to let you, of course, fly up and down. We're going to enable some cool particles and we're going to remove some fuel. Uh, if you run out of fuel, we're going to make sure you cannot fly again, you can't use it, and we're going to remove the effects, and we're going to make the refuel button this uh, up here, not disappear, we're going to make the refuel button up here, and then we're going to let a countdown play, which is wait 19 seconds, 18 seconds, 17 seconds, 16 seconds, 15 seconds, okay, you get the point, until that is zero, and if that's zero, we're going to uh, put the text back to refuel. If you're not using uh, and flying the jetpack at all, we're just not going to enable those cool particles, and we're just not going to let you fly. And the fuel bar will always match with how much fuel you have left. So if you have 50 fuel left, it's going to do 50 or 500 divided by 1,000, and that will be 50%, of course. If you do some basic math, um, you would get that. So if you have 200 fuel left, uh, it's going to be at like 20%. You get the point. So this is how you make a jetpack um, in Roblox. So now all we have to do is play the game. So let's do that right now. So we're going to play the game. And boom, we have loaded in. Okay, my cool character with the RBBs. Okay. If we... If we go on this jetpack, if we, pre if, if we like step on it, we're going to get it. So three, two, one, boom. Okay, we just got a jetpack on our character with a fuel bar, which determines how much fuel we have left. So if I jump once, nothing happens, as you can see. But if I would double jump and hold, did you see that? I can now fly. Yeehaw! Look at that. And because I'm flying, I can just press space bar, as you can see, and I will fly again. So if I don't do anything right now, I'm going to fall to the ground. Boom. And now, 
if I hold it, nothing happens. Because I have to double jump. Do you see that? Uh, this jetpack is basically like the jailbreak one. The jailbreak one also works like this. You have to double jump, and then you can fly. So now, if we let the fuel go down all the way. So let's try that. Okay. You can just let the fuel go down. And yahoo. Okay. Wait 20 seconds. Now we have to wait until we can refuel again. If we, if we click, nothing really happens. You can see nothing happens. So 13, 12, 11, 10. One eternity later. Two, one. And, okay. As you can see, boom, we can click on refuel. And three, two, one, refuel. We got our entire fuel back. And now we can fly again. Yeehaw. Look at me going. You can fly for approximately 20 seconds, 17 seconds. Uh, Creeper Man told me that. As you can see, we are just flying with the cool jetpack. This is really handy if you're going, if you have like a game with buildings and stuff. So if you did in fact enjoy this tutorial, make sure that you leave a like on this video. If you did in fact like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button to never miss out on anything I upload. Make sure you dislike this video if this video did not help you out or if, you're, if you just hate me. <laughs> Crying intense. Okay. But um, like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell. And all I can say is that my name is Newbie. And I say peace out.